Hey guys, Greenbird here. I uh, just want to do a quick video. We're getting ready to put the quail into the brooder uh, because, well, there's enough of them. I think they're all together. We have 12 or 13 that hatched, so we're gonna. They're, they look pretty dry. We're gonna get them out, get them some food and some water, and leave the other eggs in there for a few more days and see if we have any late bloomers. But just wanted to show you a quick upgrade on my brooder. If you remember in, in some of the previous videos, if not, you can check them out, or maybe I'll link one in here. Um, I had a house screen that just laid over top of it and we put the you know the same cutout on top of it and it worked fine it kept the the dust down it was kind of hard to see in there and I don't know um, if it was too dusty for the quail or not uh, but also we had to put a like a two by six across because our cats would either get in there and push it down or it would just fall down so what I did was I took some quarter inch hardware cloth and just drilled some holes in the lid this isn't perfect it doesn't look that that great because um, when I had the scrap piece of hardware cloth I was working with, didn't quite come over as far, it wasn't as big as I had anticipated, and I didn't really feel like cutting uh, a new piece. I wanted to use the scrap that I had, so I just worked with it the, the best way I could and ran the zip ties through those holes. Ow, 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 just got myself. Ouch, that one hurt. And, um, yeah, that one hurt. And um, I just wrapped them through as best I could. And that's exactly why I was. I took a shortcut. I didn't trim these off, and now I'm paying for it with that bloody thumb, uh, which is exactly why you you should. So anyway, I'm gonna go and wash that out so I don't get cooties. And this will be the new bin. Got the light in there. This snaps on like this. Nice and sturdy. Oh, I hope you're okay. 18. 18 out of 22? 